Yo, hey, what's good, YouTube? This your boy TMG is comp. Back with another video. And uh, yeah, this one just gonna be me. My face, you know, my beautiful ass face. Smoking the fucking bogey. All right, I'm gonna tell y'all why I'm smoking the bogey, though. I'm smoking the bogey because 2K is so frustrating. That shit just, like, it just fucked my whole head up. So I just had to smoke a bogey, like, to calm my nerves, I guess. I don't know. All right. So I always been the one to complain about 2K. We know that. I always been saying big man's OP and all this other shit. All right. I always been a conspiracy theorist when it come to 2K. And uh yeah, so now here go another one right here. So me and my boy, right? Two guards, no taller than 6'7. He's a uh, sharp shooting facilitator, and I'm a slashing playmaker. So that's Dimer all across the board, Hall of Fame, everything playmaking, right? Everything we need basically to shoot the ball good, you know, limitless range, gold, I mean range extender, all that good shit, quick draw, all that, right? We winning games in the uh, the little, little events they be having, little tournaments and shit. But it seemed like every time we win, we lag out. Like, and I and I went to other people's streams and shit just to make sure that it was happening to them. Some people it wasn't even happening to. Like, they were just able to complete the game, go straight to the next one. No problems. No hesitation. The screen don't freeze. None of that. So it's like, I'm thinking to myself, like, okay, maybe if we just keep trying it, trying it, you know, text your connection greens, because, you know, we don't want no excuses of why we can't get in there. So just text your connection, you know what I'm saying? Take the disc out, restart the system, all that good shit. Nope. So every, now they got it as soon as we win the first game, we get kicked out right after that. Or they switch us and give us different teammates. Like, <laughs> yo, 2K is so ass. Like, I don't know how people could keep playing that shit. Well, obviously, the, the top YouTubers and shit, they going to keep playing it because they eating. But it's to the point where it's like, <laughs> niggas need to just stop playing the game now because the, the developers and shit, I don't really think they care too much. I think they they already got a goal like at the beginning of the release of the game. They just reach that goal every time so they just don't give a fuck no more. Like just think about it. If you could just put out any type of shit and somebody just going to buy that shit, spend more money on that shit. <laughs> that's that's not even a original price like the original price is sixty dollars why are we still spending another sixty dollars just to get a player like why are we buying nba players right a whole nother sixty dollars shit they go one of my 2k niggas right there just went by crazy we was just talking about this shit like two days ago like 2K, I think now they just choose who they want to win games. Like me and my boy, right? We just started coming up. Because the Christmas news and shit, they started popping in the park and shit. So we just running now. We just say, fuck it. If we win, we win. We lose, we lose. Because most of the time, we're going to be playing some bum-ass rookie niggas. So our record getting back up there or whatever. Because that, that that's how you could tell that when the game first come out, the only niggas that's on the game is the niggas that's willing to spend $110 on the game. So those basically all the good players you playing at the beginning. As the as the time goes on and we enter into the middle of the next year, that's when all the trash niggas going to be flooding the gates. So my little conspiracy is they just don't want us to win. 
because we didn't start off hot. Because we didn't start off hot. We went out there. We, we didn't have badges. We just played. And we was losing most of our games. So, obviously, our percentage ain't going to look good. Our shooting percentage ain't going to look good. But as time went on, we was busting ass. We was fucking, um, how you say it? Adapting. We was basically adapting to what other people was doing. And we, we made up our own little movement and shit. Our own uh, ball movement little sequences and shit. Like alleys and passes and shit. Because my name TMG Dimes and ISO. His name is TM TMG Greens and uh, Range. Well, Range Greens. Whatever which one y'all gonna call that nigga. It, it don't even matter. The point is, I think somebody... They they did something to the system that just not gonna allow us to win. Like, all right, how is it possible that other niggas could just complete this shit? Like the events, I'm talking the events specifically. Like these niggas out here completing the events, and we not even completing them shits. We never can complete an event ever. Like we always lag out. What y'all gonna say? That's our internet. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. And then when I went to the this other nigga stream, he took him out. He was just helping niggas win because he already won. Like, 2K. How do y'all let the niggas who already won the event get back in the event? What the fuck? Oh, my gosh, yo. See, that's why I'm smoking a bogey. That's why I'm smoking a bogey because it's like everywhere you turn on 2K, it's a fat ass question mark just right around the corner. Like, why is this happening? Why is this going on? Why is that? Why is this? So, how can we still continue to play this game if it's like that? Like, we can't even play. We win one game, we lag out. On what other game y'all see that happening on? None. It's no other game that that's going to happen on. So, well, all this being said, it's like, I don't understand how kids be happy that the next game coming out. Well, kids is kids. They really not going to see the big picture here. Where, where 2K just finessing us and shit. Getting all types of money from us. And we just feeding these niggas shells and coins all day. For the rest of our basketball lives. That's basically what it is, y'all. We just going to feed 2K the rest of our money. For the rest of our lives. Because ain't nobody going to make a, a, a basketball game to compete with 2K. I don't think nobody going to do that. So, I think we just going to be stuck with these niggas. Until somehow they shit get boycotted or whatever. I don't, I don't even think that's going to happen because... Look at these these YouTubers be slurping so much. Like, <laughs> they helping basically blind the fact that 2K is ass. Like, let's, let's just keep it 100. These niggas out here on, on 2K side, let's just keep it 100 because they're getting paid. Like, ah, <laughs> oh, man. See? Like, you got to be able to judge the games you like. Or those games really can't get better. The developers not going to really see it. See eye to eye with the community. If everybody in the community don't say something. See these these YouTubers is like. They they flip. They slippers. Like one, one minute they feet cold. And then. For the rest of the whole day. They feet. It's warm. It's snuggly and, and, and comfortable. And this is what I mean by that. They'll dip they foot in some cold ass water for like a quick second. Just look at the videos they be making. They'll be like, oh, I don't know why 2K did this and that and that the third, right? But then like 20 or 30 videos after that, I'm talking about consistently, they keep making the video just basically promoting how good 2K is. So how how can you do that? You want the game to be better, but you will say one bad thing versus like 20 other bad things and then you'll just flip and just say mad good shit like yo i got this new jump shot 
I got this new crossover that I'm trying to show y'all niggas. Like, you shouldn't really be trying to show people that because that's basically you promoting something good about 2K where when it's nothing good about it.